Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how to spot clean a hamster cage and I'll be using my own Syrian hamster moose's cage as a demonstration since today is the day I need to spot clean his cage anyways. So I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. It truly helps out my channel a ton. And yeah, let's get right into the video. This is my hamster's enclosure. As you can see, it is a bin cage. The lid is right here. And yeah, he loves it. So a little overview of his little mess. He makes a little mess every single night and I love to tidy it up for him because I know when he gets up, he'll be happy to see he has a whole clean enclosure to mess up again. The first thing I do is I remove his water bottle and his water bowl and I go ahead and change them out and clean them and get fresh water in them. So I'm gonna go do that. I make sure he has food since I do feed him every other day. I make sure he still hasn't eaten all his food, which is why I do feed him every other day. He still hasn't eaten it today, so it would raise a picky eater if I fed him every single day the same amount. But the next thing I do is I tidy up his sand bath for him that he loves in this cute little jar. However, his sand bath is clean today. Just a few pieces of bedding in it, and I'll just remove that. But other than that, he didn't poop in it, pee in it, or get his food in it. So I don't even need to sift it or anything. So this is a really nice day for that. The next thing I do is I just uncover all of his chew toys that he buries in his bedding or knocks off. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a moose. Anyways, because it bothers my OCD, but I'm going to do that real quick. Moose is actually up, but I don't know if he'll come out. I'm in the middle of spot cleaning, but I always welcome your presence, moose. This is Moose today. I feel like every single time I record him it's the same because I don't have a tripod so I can't like record him in his cage but it's a really nice day outside so I did give him some dandelion before I took him out um, which is why he looks pretty happy. He's I'm slowly getting him used to dandelion from my backyard that isn't treated with anything and he's loving it but I only give him small amounts so he can get used to it and used to it in his system but you can actually feed wild dandelion sorry if there's cars in the background wild dandelion if you wash it and it isn't treated with any pesticides or chemicals from like the wild which is really cool i don't know what he's doing what are you doing hello this is the boy he's beautiful hamsters smell like hay and happiness And I'm going to put him back, but he's my child. Very good, boy. Yeah, you did so good. He just got some treats, and he's probably going to go back to bed. But yes, there's a hamster in this enclosure. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> Hello. You do? Hello. <laughs> I know you want fruit and veggies. I'll get that to you tomorrow. Fine. Do you want some more dandelion? Moose, look, be cute. Oh, he wants more. <laughs> oh, no, take a small bite, dude. Okay, that's all. Let go. Let go. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll get you more later, okay? Okay, go to bed. Go to bed so I can finish the video. Because I can't focus when he's awake. Look at his tongue. Did you enjoy your time out? Oh, he said, don't touch me. <laughs> he usually lets me pet him, but not today. Look at his little toe beans. Zoom in on the toe beans, guys. Those are some hamster toe beans. 
Are you not impressed? Not impressed. <laughs> Are you going to bed? In the focus. My camera not focusing right on. He's being adorable. You want fresh water? I got you fresh water. Bye, Moose. Good night. Have a good night. Anyways, I'm going to clean off his fruit plate and his orange hide, which is covered in crumbs from his lap locks that he likes to eat in there. And I'm also just going to wipe down the streamer hide with all just like natural baby wipes that I love to use for spa cleaning. So yeah. So his wheel isn't dirty, so I didn't really wipe it down with any baby wipes, but usually if he pees or poos on it, I wipe it down with these baby wipes. And then I also just, real quick, like wipe a baby wipe over it to make sure that the fruit plate is clean for tonight when I bring him his fruit and veg. And a part of his fruit and veg was the dandelion you saw me feed him. Now I'm going to go empty this orange hide out in the trash can to get all the dust or debris from his lab blocks. And then I'm going to dust off his chamber hide with a little broom thing. So along with just like tidying up chew toys and making sure he can have access to all of that and like shaking out his cork log to make sure that it, there's no like debris in it, I also like to pick up any poos I see and just make sure that it's tidy for him as well. Though they do poop randomly, it also can help them to navigate their little world um, because they basically smell or touch their own poop and then they know where they are because they have pretty bad eyesight and they kind of rely mostly on their um, sense of smell and hearing and touch and other senses other than sight. They can obviously see, see, but it's not the best. And that is literally it. That's all I have to do with him every day other than feeding and handling. Um, and feeding is every single day. Even if I'm not feeding him his mix and lab locks, I am feeding him some sort of vegetable and fruit in a small quantity. Um, so yeah, but it's a lot less extensive than when I first brought him home and I had to bond with him since I got him from an ethical breeder. He was already tame, but for other hamsters in the past and other hamsters in the future, you do have to tame them and bond with them. And so it's a lot more work when you first bring them home, but after a while you just let them do their own thing. You still make sure to handle them, feed and take care of them, but you do let them do whatever and you know, it's nice. And this wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. I love sharing my life with Moose with you guys and sharing more info on how to spot clean and care for your hamster properly. And if you enjoyed the video, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.